Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J Street Lighting, and today I'm here to bring you a video my Street Light Collection 2019. So, right, in no particular order, this is how I'm going to start off with. Okay, first, here we have a Philips MI26. Now, this is a very nice lantern, you know, fiberglass bowl, and the top is plastic as well. Now this has got no photo cell on it because it's been bypassed the lantern see it's got the clips there yep and there's a 45 watt Philips socks lamp in there as well so that's my first ever lantern I got yep very nice lantern now here is my Fosco P225 and on the day I'm recording this it was one year ago today that Wiltshire Council in Chippenham, Wiltshire came round and taken down this Costco P225 lantern for me outside of my grandparents' house. I asked Wiltshire Council if I could have it and they said, is that the one you want outside your house? I said, yep, that's the one. They went rather than waiting for future units to get replaced, they're happy to get it to me in the next two to three weeks. So, ah, oh, absolutely delighted about that. Yep, you see, that one's currently got a plug and it's currently wired in. So, yep. I have done a warm up video in this one before, but I did that on my main channel. So, yeah, I will do warm up video again at some point. And so, yeah. One year ago today I received that lantern and boy oh boy I'm so happy about it. Yep, that one has currently got a 35 watt Osram lamp in it. Yep. Here we have a Beta 5. This is the older style Beta 5 with the metal clips. Yep, that one has got a Philips 35 watt socks lamp in. And top of the lantern, yeah, i got to say, it's a very nice lantern, you know, I do like the Beta 5s. Bowls in really good condition, you know, yep. Down here we have the GEC Z9, I can't quite, never really seem to pronounce this one, yep. It's currently got a photo cell on it, fiberglass, yep, there's the wire there, so... With this lantern, it's very strange because to access the gear tray, you have to undo two screws, which is pretty odd. Oh, just touch my phone a bit there, by mistake. And here we have a Gamma 6. This is a short brimmed version. Yeah, that's currently got a Royce Thompson photo cell on it. It did have that photo cell on it, but that one was dodgy because kept making the lantern turn off you know half the time it wouldn't turn on again so yep royce thompson photo cell and i got to say the gamma 6 is one of my favorite socks lanterns i love the shape of them they're just magical brilliant i very nice lantern yeah some of these lanterns most of them i have got off of ebay a couple of the Streetline enthusiasts, but yeah, see, really in good condition. The gamma, right here, my sofa. We have a couple of brims here. That's a Sun Gamma brim, and that's a Socks Gamma brim. See, shape of a dustbin, I know, but yeah, there we go. And here we have a Philips Street Fighter lantern. This is a very nice lantern. This is one I got recently off of eBay. See, it's got a 50 watt or 70 watt sun lamp in it. Yeah, really lovely lantern this. Very pleased with it. Yeah, now this is vandal proof. So to undo, to access the gear tray, you have to undo this screw here. Yep, it's got a sodium photo cell on it, yellow. Yeah, I'm building up a collection of yellow photo cells now. <laughs> yeah, really nice lantern. Really like it. Yep, yeah, the clip. See, yeah, it's got a bit of dirt on it, so I need to need to try and sort that out. Here we have a Philips MI36 lantern. 
A oh, very nice lantern. This is a 55 watts one. I have a 55 watt lamp now, so at some stage I'll be able to wire that one up and, yep, yeah, fire it up. But anyway, you know, the bowl clips are very annoying on the MI36. I just cannot seem to get them back on in a moment. But I'm going to keep persevering. But yeah, and the brim scammers, I do like them. But they can be a bit annoying, like, when you don't have much space. But anyway, yep. Love these. The Street Fighter Lantern, absolutely love it. Right here, we have the GEC Z6789 Lantern. This one has currently has a colour-changing bulb in it. Yep, so... <laughs> I'll just turn that on, just plug it in and then we can see. Oh, come on. There we go. Yep. Oh, there's a AD lights there, but not really bothered about those. I'm here to show you. Yep, see, got a remote. Colour changing bulb. Yep, this is a remote geared lantern, so you turn it on. When it wants to communicate. There we go. See, that's currently on red. So that's like a socks warm up colour. Green, mercury paper, white, modern day LED. This colour, that's like a sun warm up colour. That, yeah, I can guess it's like full coloured sun. Yellow. Ah, uh, something like blue. Ah. Uh, a purple, yeah, that's very nice. I, I do quite like the purple. But yeah, I mainly hang on red, so it feels like it's on the socks warm-up colour. Okay, I'll put that off now. But yeah, really cool. Really like that colour changing bulb. Yep, there it is. That's the box that come in, so... Uh, Right now, onto the lights, what I have in my bedroom. Right, this is one I got recently as well. Hold on two seconds, just put that out. An Industria 2600 lantern. Yep, this is a 70 watt Son lantern. You can get these in PL. Oh. See, oh, a bit of white on my hands, but you know, needs a bit of a cleanness, so I'll get it cleaned. It's got a sodium photo cell on it again. This is top entry lantern. As you can see the wiring. Yep, that's the wiring I'll be removing at some point. But yeah, very nice lantern. One of my favourite Son lanterns yet, it is. Right, underneath here is my Fosco P852 LED. Yep, this is the only LED I've got in my collection so far. Top entry. Yep, I've done a video on this one before. So, yep. I'll just move that to one side. Here is my Philips MA50. The big lantern. Currently got a 135 watts Osram lamp in it. Yeah, it's got a NEMA socket on it as well, so, yeah, very nice lantern. Not had a chance to wire it up yet, but I'll get to that at some stage. And in here, I have, this is another one of my Gammas. Yep, this is a Gamma 6. Now, this is, well, it's a bit dark, but, anyway, yeah, that's I, yeah, this lantern, I, started to do certain things on it now i got the line and the neutral out but the earth is still on the bolt so which is a bit annoying but anyway i'll sort it out at some stage now the bowl on it is currently a because the original bowl what came with this socks lantern first kind of what socks brims on the bowl was completely damaged so i'm currently using the bowl off my mi off the Song Gamma. Yep, the bowl I'm currently using is off my 
Song Gamma, which I'll get to the Song Gamma in a second. But yeah, very nice lantern. I do like the Gammas. Okay. Yep, this one here is the Arc AT. Currently got a 155 watt CGO TT lamp in it. See up there, this box, it has my 35 watt socks lamps in it. Once a couple SOM lamps. Yep, there's a 150 watt SOM. What words in this Arc AT? And been trying to put the get the CDO lamp out, but it won't seem to come out. So it looks like the wires cross threaded. Right, just getting a couple of these on that. Here is my Anaco G Anaco GR100 street light lantern. Yep, currently got a 90 watt socks lamp in it, Philips. Uh, very nice answer, and I do like these. Yep, main road street lights, remote geared lantern. And here we have a Fosco P224. Yep, currently got a 55 watt socks lamp in it. And finally, yep, and to end the collection, we must finish off into Song Gamma. Now this is a 70 watt song gamma. As I showed you, it comes with the silver brimmed version. Let's see, yeah, it's a very nice lantern, you see. It's got a bit of corrosion in it, but I have you know cleaned it out some of the cobwebs. See, I started to remove the old wires, see, I got the earth out and the neutral. But the line is being the pain in the back sides because seeing the screws in the terminal block, it seems to be too far down to reach my little electrical screwdriver. So I need to get some more screwdrivers. But yeah, this is a very nice lantern. Currently got a NEMA socket on it. But anyway, that is my video of my street lighting collection 2019. I hope you enjoyed this. Please do subscribe to the channel and check out West Sussex Street Lighting, Horn Gamma 6. I'll link their channels in the description. They're very good YouTube users. Yeah, and this Song Gamma. Yep. Seen the Lantern. Yep, 70 Watt Song. I do like it, you know. I hope to wire it up. And the two, I still rather have the socks gamma, so I wanted at least one son gamma in my collection. So let me know what you think of my lanterns, and you know, what is your favourite lanterns? And yeah, be making videos again very soon. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Bye bye.